what is up guys in this video i just wanted to talk a little bit about the new feature in davinci resolve 17 which allows you to see sound bars or actually listen to sound in davinci resolve fusion excuse my excuse my voice if i sound a little bit weird i've been with allergies all day and okay anyway so if you have a fusion composition that you want to make let's say motion graphics and then that react to sound or whatever so something cool right you will think that if you drag a fusion composition here and play uh then you're not actually seeing any sound so how do you find the sound there's a speaker here and yeah so you cannot actually see it so the way to actually make this work is if you are it usually works with when there's a media in right so the way that i figure out that is like if i just deactivate this fusion composition and for example i go to the effects part and then on generators let's just add a solid color so what you're gonna do is then you're just gonna right click and create a new compound clip that way it sort of creates a big thing with like the whole thing and you can and we can actually hear the music right in the background on this one if i press play so what then we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this in a fusion page because it needs a media in to be able to find this sound now we are within fusion and this is activated so if i press play then you're actually listening to the sound from this media in so then how do we actually see the sound waves? The way to do that is we go to the keyframes part and then here in the media in, we can see these two bars right here. And if you move your slider around and if you click, if you click hold and move that around, then it will sort of like find and produce the sound, sound waves but yeah and then you can also zoom in and make them look a little bit bigger like that uh and just play around with the different controls that you have and you can actually see the sound waves so that is how you actually go ahead go about finding the actual sound waves inside the fusion composition so that you can then see maybe where there are specific beats that you want to listen to and stuff like that so i hope that this quick video is helpful and I hope that I can actually get better so then I can get back to making actual cool videos uh, with this new version of DaVinci. So I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next video here in Swazi. Bye.